Hey fam, so I'm back again with another video. Another video, we about to finish out this 30 days of success, y'all. Okay, so let me just jump right into it, okay? Because this one is a really good one, okay? We are gonna talk about the six cents. Okay, so Napoleon Hill brought up the six cents and his and one chapter was called the six cents and I was waiting on that chapter, okay? If we ever heard of the secret, that is the law of attraction, okay? And let's just jump right into it because I would like to discuss the gut feeling right now, okay? Because that is something that I sh I deal with regularly, okay? I have really good intuition. I follow my intuition. I And I haven't always been the best at it. But God damn it, at the age of 27, I know how to follow my intuition now. And when I tell you, it's the one of my favorite gifts that was given to me by God. And and we all have it, okay? We all have it. Um, We just need to tune in. We just need to tap in and be able to trust it and surrender to it. Um, And a lot of times, it's really intense because with that sixth sense, and, and let me just start off by talking about what a sixth sense is, okay? The sixth sense is a sense that we have that is hidden, okay? It's the sixth sense. So we have five senses, right? We have, we can see, we can hear, we can touch, right? Um, we can smell. But the sixth sense is that secret sense that is just within our body that we can feel, we can hear it, we can vision it but it's not real. It's not in 3D form, right? But I always believe those things are real because let me tell you, your imagination is not fake. We already discussed the imagination. We've already discussed dreams and how they work, okay? The sixth sense is about following your gut instinct, okay? Me as a woman, I'll just simply say, <laughs> I have always tried to deny my sixth sense. I have always tried to deny my gut instinct, okay? Let's just let's just take it there, right? When we were dating and we had boyfriends, we knew those guys wasn't acting right, we could feel it. And and we but we couldn't explain how we knew, but we knew, baby, that's your sixth sense. And you gotta tune in. It's and it's very easy to tune in, y'all. It's very, very easy to tune in. It's a matter of being still. It's a matter of trusting yourself. It's a matter of surrendering to your body, to your mind and your soul. It's a matter of meditating. Um, that is a quick way to wish, um, to get into that gut instinct and feel, feel out what's going on, what's the, what's the energy in the room. Um, it's, it's a for sure easy way of doing that. Okay. Meditation. Um, and so almost every time I meditate um, in regards to a conflict that I may be having in life, uh, my gut instinct tells me like that. And like I said, I can't always explain it. I can't always prove it, but I don't need to. I don't need to prove it. I don't need it to prove to anybody. I don't, you know, um, and I've been told I was crazy for that. I've been told that I am losing my damn mind, regardless. And then it ends up being the case. It always ends up being the case. And it's just like, thank you. I knew. I knew. I'm psychic. I knew. I'm psychic. We all have this instinct. We all have this sixth sense. Um, we just are afraid to tap into it because a lot of us cannot believe what we don't see, you know? And um, you, we have to understand that we live in a 3D world, right? The third dimension. Once you start ascending and once you start getting in tune with who you are, like I said, on a mind, body, and soul tip, you will be so connected and so divinely led and so focused, your path would be clear that you can see 
the bullshit from a mile away because that is your instinct as a being, as a, as a species. We all have this instinct. And once you trust yourself and you surrender to yourself and understand that you are divinely led, there is no coincidence on this place that we live in, in this life that we live in. There's no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. Everything. That feeling that we get, oh, we shouldn't get in the car for whatever reason, I mean, I, I I don't know how many stories I've heard where people have told me I was supposed to be in that car. I was supposed to die that night. You know, I know he's been cheating on me. I, I could feel it. You could feel it. How could you feel it if it ain't nobody feeling? You feel it in your stomach. Everything in your body is telling you it is not right. Everything in your body telling you it is right. Trust yourself. Surrender to yourself. When I tell you, if you are working from your heart chakra, and I get emotional behind this because for so many years, I fought myself. I didn't trust myself. I didn't respect myself. And it caused me to go through unnecessary bullshit. It caused me to go through so much unnecessary pain. And it was because I didn't trust myself. I didn't trust the goddess in me. Damn, this shit is getting me deep. It's getting me deep because, yo, like I could talk about this all freaking day. You have to trust yourself. You have to understand that we are all gods and goddesses. Right? Yeah, there is a divine. There is the almighty, the most high. There is, right? But at the same time, we are all made in his image. We are all made in his image. And understand that we are led in his, in, in, and whoever. We are led by an ultimate power, a source. Okay, and this source is not going to deny us if it is from your heart. And it's, and I say this all the time to my friends, and I know they be like tired of hearing me say it. Let love guide you. Let love guide you. Love yourself. Practice self love and let it guide you. Trust yourself. Love yourself. Respect yourself before anybody. Okay, God said, put no man before me. Don't put no man before you. It's, it's deep. It's that serious. Do not do that. Trust yourself. I bet on myself every time. I don't bet on nobody but myself. When my baby father wasn't acting right, guess what? I had to let that go. I don't control you. I don't have any control over you. I have control over me. I don't have control over my daughter. I have control over me. What are my outcomes going to do for her? What? How, how am I handling myself in this situation that can help her in her situation? You can only control yourself. And so you have to take this job seriously. Don't defeat yourself. Don't knock yourself down. You are... Uh, you are a God, okay? And I just need everybody to understand that. That's how I'm going to end it. <laughs> That's how I'm ending this, this chapter, okay? We are gods and we are goddesses and we have to tap into our power and we have to trust this instinct that we were given. It's our power. Understand we all have it. Stop shying away from it. Stop being scared of it. Surrender to it. Love you guys, fam. Love you. Love you, love you, love you. I have completely just blown my mind in this video because I cried on camera. <laughs> all right? <laughs> Anyways, I am all over the place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. 
I would love to hear you guys' comments on this video especially. <laughs> All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah, peace.